Hey guys, it's Kathy from Crafty Chica, and I thought today I'd show you a sneak peek of what goes into painting all of these coffee mugs that I sell. I start off with bisque. I don't have a wheel yet, but I hope to get one soon. In the meantime, I use bisque, and these are the underglazes that I use. Now the thing with painting bisque and underglazes for ceramics is it's very pastel, but after it fires, it comes out very, very bright. So I add three coats for all of my backgrounds, let those dry completely, and then I'll show you the Frida one. So this one I have three coats that I'm going to apply of this undercoat, of the underglaze I should say. And then once it's all dry, I'm going to add some white for her eyes and for her mouth. Okay, now I'm using a very thin liner with watered down black underglaze to get her lashes and her nose and the eyebrows and all those little details. After that, I move on to the other parts of her face. This is probably the hardest part, outlining, because one wrong stroke and uh, she can come out looking kind of wonky. But I've done so many of these that I kind of have it down to a science. Basically, I just want my Fridas to look happy and artful and vibrant, so when people use the mug, it will help hopefully inspire them. This is Dimensional Paint for Ceramics. I love this stuff. It dries very bumpy. And now I'm sponging on an overglaze. This will make it food safe. And I'm going to pop those in the kiln for seven hours. And then it has to cool for another seven hours. But when they're done, ta-da! They're nice and shiny and bright. And that is a quick overview of what it takes to make all of these mugs. I sell these in my Etsy store and at my Phoenix store, Mucho Mas Art Studio here in Phoenix, Arizona. You guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, give it a thumbs up. Check out craftychica.com for even more ideas. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Go make something beautiful today.